Okay. So, hello, my name is Patrick Fischer. I'm from uh, Wikipedia Germany. Uh, I'm the main editor for Timo Leste in the German Wikipedia. First, a little disclaimer. Um, this, um, uh, uh, this event was planned originally as a workshop, uh, talking with each other and uh, finding solutions to help little uh, communities to become bigger ones. Um, in the end, the result is a little speech of myself telling you some ideas I had which are not tested. So I hope you get maybe some uh, ideas from me. You can use, you can try, but there is no uh, assurance that, you, uh, that it will work. Um, I was planning to go to Timor Leste three years ago. I wanted to go there for three weeks and uh, try to make workshops there for editing Wikipedia. And I heard before of many people who went to the Global South, made wonderful workshops, people were coming and everybody was happy and everybody was excited to, to write in the articles in Wikipedia in their own language. And just when the teacher has gone from the country, every editing stopped at once. So the question is, uh, what is worth or what could we do? Uh, could we do? Sorry? Okay. Um, so what to do, uh, it would take two minutes? Yeah, uh, okay. does, does everyone have their black, uh, sorry, does everyone have their bags with you? Their bag. Does everyone have their own bag? Okay. Bags? Is no one, yeah, no one's, no one's missing a bag, right? No one's missing a bag, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, that's mine. Oh, it's yours? <laughs> what? Okay, there's that's a mine. black backpack in the plenary. Perfect. If you are missing a oh. black backpack, please head to the plenary to claim it. Yeah, thank you. Sorry for disrupting. Okay, so where we have been. Um, yes, and what was the possibility to, uh, to make it more real more, uh, for a longer time? And uh, I was thinking to my experiences uh, in Germany, um, uh, how we can, which um, authors, which editors are staying in the community, not stopping editing after a short time. And these are mostly the ones who are meeting each other in real life. So the social life is very, very important for many editors, for many users of Wikipedia, Wikimedia. And uh, so this would be maybe the possibility for uh, these young communities uh, to exist. So how to create a community it's mainly really about social lives and uh, we have in munich one of the oldest uh, user meetings in real life we call it the stammtisch so it's a meeting in a bar or a little restaurant once a month uh, and just come there and talk to each other no editing no computers no mobiles just talk to each other Maybe you're talking about something what you've done in Wikipedia, but it could be uh, something about the normal social life, just to become friends, just to be understand each other, and maybe solving some conflicts too. That's quite bit, it's uh, quite important there. Um, another thing uh, is um, uh, organizing organizing uh, tours, ex um, excursions. We are uh, in Munich. We are going together uh, sometimes at weekend uh, to one of our mountains, wandering around there in the nature, uh, making many, many photos, uh, many photos loading up later for comments. So that's the result for the Wikimedia, but it's again a social uh, community uh, making stronger together. Um, we are doing projects together. We are uh, going to museums, asking them to making photos of their exhibitions or their archives. Uh, we are going around the city, making photos of the buildings. We are uh, organizing editathons uh, about uh, different teams, for example. And um, during this, sometimes we are giving uh, um, lessons again for new uh, editors. Um, competitions are always very, very important for, uh, for Wikimedians. Uh, uh, many, many people started with competitions uh, to editing or making photos for Wikipedia. Um, of course, when you start first in a country, the media 
is very important. Uh, I think in Germany it started really uh, Wikipedia in 2005 when uh, everybody was talking about Wikipedia. What is Wikipedia? It was in uh, national TV, it was in every newspaper. And so the people started, well, what's that? Wikipedia, how does it work? And maybe try it. Oh, there is missing so much, so I have to write a little bit more too. And suddenly, you're an editor and you don't know why. Um, surely you have to work together with organizations. Um, we heard uh, about the uh, Uzbek uh, Wikipedia here some days ago. Uh, they are working together with government, quite successful. Um, Universities are another possibility to get in contact. Maybe some professors are uh, able to help. Uh, we have some examples when uh, universities ask their students to write Wikipedia articles as lesson. Um, NGOs could be quite helpful or we can help NGOs too. For example, uh, uh, female rights organizations uh, talking about female health, for example, or uh, uh, bringing people closer to um, information about pregnancy or uh, against violence against women. Um, even such organizations like the churches are possible to contact. They want to uh, bring information about their religion, fundamental uh, uh, information to the people. Of course, there you have to be very careful that the uh, articles are neutral. Uh, the UNESCO is sometimes a help. Uh, they have a lot of uh, material which could be used in Wikipedia. You can uh, ask uh, tourist organizations maybe to support you. Uh, so you can uh, make articles about your area, your country and uh, make photos. Well, there are many, many, many uh, possibilities for, uh, in organizations to find. But the only problem in the end is you have to find the right people who want to write Wikipedia all the time and go on writing even after the teacher has gone. So that's my five minutes for talking. And now um, you can ask and you can give maybe some comments. You can add some ideas if you like. You're welcome. Okay, everybody's full. Okay. So we have no little tea break, right? <laughs> some time, take some breath first. Yeah, there was. Take a big microphone. Um, maybe I, I'm I'm Daniel. I'm from. Uh, the Malaysian user group and uh, I, I don't really have any ideas it's just maybe just a feeling of trying to be hopeful keeping hope because when I was uh, when I had a meetup in 2016 the first Malaysian user group meetup it was just three of us I was the only Malaysian because Butch is he's based in Singapore. Dodi is Indonesian, but he's, he commits to Malaysian articles. So I, I just came in as a researcher wanting to meet real Wikipedians. But I, I was the only Malaysian. And, um, and this year we have a Wikipedian of the Year uh, from Malaysia. So I think they're out there. And uh, it's just, but like you say, the outreach and, and the kind of promotion needs to go. And then eventually it, it, it kind of builds up over time, hopefully. We have to find the guys, the, the, the wood which we can make on fire, really. Uh, yes. I was wondering with those Wikipedians that have uh, engagement with previous, with other cultural institutions and maybe library institutions such as museums, uh, libraries, archives, open open data in initiatives, activists, would those be more likely to uh, stick or uh, continue their contribution to Wikipedia? That basically, do those already have some kind of commitment with knowledge or open knowledge or uh, history keeping alive initiatives? Would they be more likely to stick around? 
sorry, I didn't really understand what you wanted to ask. Um, so maybe a short. No, I'm just wondering: would yeah. those Wikipedians yeah. that already have some commitments yeah. or participation yeah. in other uh, cultural institutions or or movements more likely to stay around? Well, I was uh, talking about uh, places just like Timbal Esther, where uh, there is nearly nothing in the moment uh, about Wikipedia. So there are the contexts you have to find. You have to find the people. We have now three, four people who uh, uh, who want to uh, to create a user group in Timor Leste and to get in contact with all the organizations. We're getting help from a set we get. Uh, uh, several uh, user groups, several Wikimedias now who want to help us, like uh, Philippines, Indonesia, and, uh, well, German Wikipedia too. Um, so uh, there are many people with many ideas and many supports, and uh, but in the end, these guys will, will be uh, at home in their home country, and they have to find their own ways, of course, because I think every country, every culture is diff uh, different. I can tell how it works uh, in Germany, for example, or how it works in Indonesia. And it could be happen that it's totally different in Timor Leste, so we have to find out. But uh, collecting all the ideas is always good uh, to find the uh, solutions, of course. Of course, uh, one of the things that we might uh, consider as well is that there might not be those uh, perfect people to find. But uh, what we often need to find is those people in different areas of life. Just like in Estonia, we are again also even giving out different awards like uh, Best Wiki Photographer of the Year. Mm -hmm. Because again, photographers often don't do anything else but they do add photos. We are giving away our, out, for instance, uh, Wiki, uh, Friend of Wikipedia Award. That does not go to Wikipedians, that goes to those people mm -hmm. to some outside organizations, just like this mentioning CLAM and institutions that somehow have benefited Wikipedia with their actions and activities and whatever they have communicated out to the general public. It does not mean that they themselves have ever edited. Many of them haven't, but they have done something that really benefits Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are sort of awards for Wikipedians as well. Okay. But I mean, there are like different areas and this is something that also we might want to Pay attention to that sometimes we don't need people to be Wikipedias to benefit Wikipedia. Okay, but I think this is the second step uh, to find the people which are the cloud all around Wikimedia, Wikipedia, uh, which can support uh, the people. But uh, the problem is we have to find the people which we are uh, build, uh, which are building the, the core of the of the new user group and the editors there. Uh, we can have one last question, short, please. It's more, so we were talking about Timor Leste, so just for context, and uh, because I'm a steward, um, I, I was wondering if there is like some kind of handbook or steps to take when you're starting a community, like uh, electing your first administrator, and, and I'm helping them now, of course, but it's uh, just by chance that we meet, uh, I, I want to propose or suggest uh, creating like first steps on that. I know there are capacity building stuff, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, trainings, but really becoming <laughs> active in your own project. I'm not sure if there's anything. Leon, do you know anything? No. There are some uh, I think some rules written by the uh, by former uh, activists. Um, but there is really, really nearly nothing. So uh, <laughs> we have to start in everything. That's the problem. And we have to know where to start. And we have to find the people who want to start anyhow. So I'm for optimist in this way. Okay. But uh, we have to find the ideas to get more and more people. Um, Munich has 1.3 million inhabitants, same as Timor Leste. I think in Munich, where I come from, there are around 250 editors for Wikipedia. If we come, can get up to 20 in, or 30 in Timor Leste, it would be a big success, I would say. Okay, so thank you very much.